Damn, bro, nigga about to start recording in the damn house. Yo, what's the fibbity do do YouTube? It's your boy, Dave from Califater. Back on my bullshit, man. Now, yo, you ever just, like, scroll through your old social media messages and read old conversations you had with chicks that you were trying to pull back in the day? Bro, I was doing that shit earlier today, man. Boy, you got crazy like a motherfucker, bro. I was crazy hard as fuck reading those old messages, bro, from girls that I used to text that clearly did not fucking want me, bro. But I just kept pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. Boy, did I waste a lot of time chasing hoes that ain't want me, man. And that's what inspired the video today, man. I want to I wanna go through three things that I learned from my sipping days and how I am better than I was as of today. Well, number one, bro, the nice guy shit don't exist, bro. That shit you see in the movies where the girl lead the asshole for the caring, sweet gentleman, you know, overall good dude, bro, that shit don't exist, bro. Bitches don't want good guys, bro. They find good guys barn and shit, easy to manipulate, and they just don't get their pussy wet, bro. I'm sorry. I used to get so pissed off when this girl that I would be the shoulder to cry on, trying to be that good guy, you know what I'm saying, that's always there for her. I would get so pissed off when she becomes single and then pass me up for another nigga that treated her like shit. Like, back then, that shit did not make no sense to me. I'm like, yo, what the fuck, bro? I'm doing everything that I think I'm supposed to do. Why the fuck she keep choosing these shitty-ass guys? And now I realize, bro, that shit is what they want. That's what they want, bro. You don't want the good guys. You don't want the niggas on the TV shows, on the movies, man. They want the thug niggas who flash their guns in the goddamn cameras. They want the chads that bully pimp squeaks at school, but they want those type of niggas, bro. That's the niggas they... That's the niggas they get their pussy wet. They love being treated like shit. Like, the longest relationships that I have is when I treat the girls like shit. But the second I start being kind and sweet to her, bro, she starts pushing away. Shit's crazy. Number two is being her best friend and waiting for your turn, bro. Look at it, bro. Stop being friends with these hoes, man. If you want her, bro, shoot your shot. Stop waiting, bro. Don't try to sneak in and be her friend and hope she sees you for the good guy that you are. And hopefully she's like, damn, this is the guy that's been there for me all along. This is the guy that I need in my life. Let me date him. Nah, that shit don't work, bro. <laughs> you just fucking yourself up, bro. Fan of friends on yourself, my nigga. Like, be straight up with your intentions the first time you start talking to it, bro. You meet a girl, you're like, all right, bro. I want to fuck or I want to be your man. And then she declines or says, I'm looking for friends. My nigga, move along, bro. <laughs> don't waste your time with that hoe, bro. Because you're going to waste a lot of time, money, and energy, bro. Like I said, bro, I used to be that shoulder to cry on. Being there for her, hoping that she'll see me for the great guy that I am. But every time she became single, she'll go back and date another shitty guy. Leaving me in the dust. Rinse to repeat, rinse to repeat. So I'm like, you know what, what the fuck? Fuck this shit, bro. <laughs> and I finally moved on. But still, I fucked that girl eventually, bro. And that pussy wasn't even that good, bro. That shit stank like a motherfucker, bro. <laughs> oh, it was he stank, bro. I was waiting and breaking my own heart for her. Bro, the sex is so fucking weak, bro. She just, like, the fuck, bro? <laughs> but aside from that, bro, I went through a lot of hoops to finally get to the point that I did get. And I wasn't satisfied when I actually got it. I was hyping myself up for what? But that's not the point. Most of y'all niggas do that shit. Like, y'all try to be her friend in the hopes that she one day falls in love with your ass. And then y'all become a couple. But that don't how it works, bro. That's not how it works, man. That shit never worked for me. That shit never worked for anybody, bro. If she's not interested in you in the beginning, because if she, if she's into you, bro, she's not going to put you in her friend zone, bro. She's not going to accept this friend. She's going to let you know she wants you. And if she's not letting you know she wants you when she do want you and she's being shy about it, I mean, she's scared to tell you and lose you. But <laughs> a girl going to let you know if she wants you. She ain't going to put you in the friend zone. I ain't no beating around the bush or trying to be the friends. If she puts you in the friend zone, my nigga, you're never hitting the cheeks, bro. But it's all good, bro. Like, come on, bro. All pussy feel the same, bro. Don't be stuck on one girl's pussy, bro. Pussy, all it can do is make you bust. <laughs> There's a lot of pussy out here, bro. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot, man. <laughs> Stop chasing that one dusty-ass bitch, bro. I'm telling you, bro. It's not worth it in the end. You're just going to waste a lot of fucking time doing that. Number three, bro, is being the conversation. And what I mean by being the conversation is me being the one that's starting it up and always sparking up a new conversation, bro. Like she's not contributing, she's not contributing to the conversation at all. She's just responding to what you say. Sometimes it's short or it's to the point. She don't ask questions or she don't bring up a conversation to talk about or she don't add anything to the conversation, bro. It's basically like you're talking to a fucking robot. I was reading some old messages with some bit, bro. Oh my god, this one made me cringe the most because I used to go see this girl at her job. 
this girl did not fucking want me, bro. I used to go see this bitch at her job, bro. And every time I, before I leave her job, I would ask for a hug and everything, but she would just fucking deny me, bro. And I'll get home, bro. She won't text me until I text her. I should have known, bro. Like, that bitch ain't want me, bro. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Like, shit, I'm going to keep on trying until she finally liked me. But she never fucking did, bro. <laughs> she never did. Was she now? Probably. But back then, bro, I was such a fucking dork, bro. Oh, my fucking God, bro. <sighs> but more of the video, man. If they don't want you, bro. If they're not giving you signs right out the bat. Or if they're not. If they don't show high interest, bro. Keep on stepping. And find someone that does. Stop wasting your time. Keep focusing on your grind and your purpose, man. And the women that do want you will come. Stop by going out here chasing pussy, bro. Let the bitches come to you. I let the bitches come to me, bro, wherever I go. Start a new job. I'll go somewhere. Go out somewhere, bro. <laughs> the bitches come to me, bro. Like, last night, bro. Like, not last night, but, like, I think it was this morning, bro. I've been going to a small restaurant every fucking morning, bro. And this bitch been giving me free shit every fucking day since, man. <laughs> And I can tell the bitch want my, like, she want my dick, bro. Like, the way she talks to me and just every time I come in there, bro, just, she, she, she want me, bro. <laughs> she been giving me free shit, bro. Every time I come in there, I be getting free shit, bro. I always got even get the box in here. But I be getting free shit every, every time I go there. I'm going there this morning, too, and I'm going to get some more free shit. I know she want me. I got a girl. Am I going to pursue? Nah, I got a girl, bro. You know what I'm saying? Loyalty until she breaks her trust, but tr breaks my trust. But aside from that, bro. I get free shit. <laughs> I know she want me. She gives me choosing signals and she gives me free shit when she makes everybody else pay. So find the girls who have interest in you because that's the best relationship. So you feel me? They give you the best sex. They give you the best. They give you everything you want, bro. Attention, sex. Just stop pulling teeth for these hoes who ain't even worth it, bro. Because sometimes you might even get to the point where you can hit and it's not worth it. And you're like, damn, bro, where did all my time go? <laughs> But I hope y'all enjoyed this, man. Please like, comment, subscribe. I got another video coming tomorrow. And shit, follow me on my social media. Come talk to me, man. I'll see y'all niggas on my next fucking video, dog. I'm out.